this is a really difficult day. We ain't lying about anything. This has to be the hardest hill we've ever had. and welcome back guys if you're new here we are ellie and there's sent you behind the camera and we are walking 800 kilometers all the way across spain on the camino del norte come with us days 19 and 20 as we walk 50 kilometers from calunga all the way to gijon four kilometers in on our walk from calunga to via viciosa hope i pronounced that right and the views are gorgeous it's a bit difficult i don't know if you can tell the sweat on my forehead but we're back in nature and it is so beautiful here and Senchi is still feeling a bit sick if you watched yesterday's vlog. It is difficult when you know you're walking across the country and you get sick and you really can't stop. So today, yesterday he pushed through it, today he's pushing through it and Finally, tomorrow we have a big day and then we'll arrive in Gijón, which is a bigger town and something that we feel is more appropriate to take a rest day in where we have some shops, grocery stores, pharmacies open. So we're pushing through until Gijón and then hopefully he'll get some rest and we'll be on the road to recovery. Yes, sir. And we just made it to Priesca, which is a little bigger checkpoint. It is a checkpoint of 8.5 kilometers. This is the only albergue in the town and I don't think it's working to be honest. And it even said here, no restaurants, no shops, but basic supplies at the albergue. But this is obviously closed. So sometimes you cannot believe the guidebook because sometimes some places can be closed. But luckily we have some food already bought yesterday. So we're just gonna sit at this really nice table have a little rest, have some food, and hit the road again. On the way down from the mountain, it's mostly unpaved trail through the forest, which is arguably the best trail to walk on. The pavement gets kind of difficult sometimes, and if you're unfamiliar with the Del Norte route, it's along roads a lot of the time. So we take every opportunity to go through some nice forest with some shade and some nice even unpaved dirt paths. We just made it to what is called the El Peregrin Cansao and if you're able to have a stop around this time, highly, highly recommend you wait until the El Peregrin Cansao. Let me show you why. First of all, there's a really nice outdoor area with some shelter here. You can sit and eat, but it's really just a little shed that is completely reserved for pilgrims. There's these vending machines and they have everything you could really want. Some good nuts, chocolate, you could even get like a full meal. This is only two euros here. And some soft drinks, Powerade for those electrolytes. And the microwave as well. And a microwave. God, if you wanted, I don't know, maybe you could put something in, in this little fire oven or there's a microwave that works. There's plates, towels, a stereo. Obviously lots of people have been here and shared their experiences all on the walls. Did and you show this? And you can even get a stamp here. Isn't that fantastic? El Peregrin Cansao and Buen Camino. That's awesome. We are definitely gonna stock up on some snacks and some drinks. And we're going to enjoy a little break right here. Perfect. Perfect. How nice. Huh. It's a little pilgrim squirrel. Oh my god, some of these are beautiful. How nice. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really taken aback. Who who'd made all this? It's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. 
to whoever did this for pilgrims. This is a really welcomed break. really cool well that was one of the most enjoyable little lunch shops we've experienced yet on the Camino del Norte what do you think I would sign that 100 feet 100 feet he agrees back on the road it's always hard to get going after taking a nice little break but we only have five kilometers left in our 20 kilometer day from Colunga to Via Viciosa so we're almost there just the last home stretch. We got this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we have officially made it into Villa Viziosa, which I don't know if you can tell, but this is the biggest town we've been in all day by far. We are going to go into the center and check out our hotel for the night but first stopping at a pharmacy for this guy and of course we're bringing you with us to show you the accommodation for the health as always we successfully grabbed the goodies that Senshi needed from the pharmacy which is another reason why it's good to stay in these actual towns rather than the you know tiny little collection of homes that were the towns that we passed through before. So, both experiences are nice, but it's things like this that make you appreciate being in a real town. Whee! Once again, we just checked in. The price for tonight was 55 euros. And somehow we got breakfast for free. Don't know how that happened, but the we owner got, was really kind. We got coffee and breakfast. He didn't say it was included. Maybe it's because we were pilgrims. He saw that. I really don't know, but we got that included. Perfect. We didn't right. know it. Okay, little sofa chair. Well, this looks very nice. Hi, everyone. We got these today. So we're not leaving them anywhere anymore. <laughs> Ooh. Chocolate. Some candies. Nice. Murders. Nice. Oh, sugar free. Oh, here's a little fridge. Oh, Ooh. nice. Perfect. Add blue color. Huh? <laughs> Get a little wife to it. And it look. looks very comfy. It does. And let's see. Let's see this bathroom. Hmm? Okay. Perfect. Oh wow. Oh my, I've never seen anything like this. It's like a bathtub, but it's oh, like half the size. <laughs> Only babies can fit in this bathtub. Oh, that's a new. oh my, oh my. Oh, just what the basic room needs. Mm -hmm. It's still weekend, so still 50, 54 euros exact, not 55. Still, this is the best thing you can get during the weekends, to be honest. And you're gonna have some really good sleep, and we will see you guys. Tomorrow on the road once again. Thank you for being with us. Good morning, guys. It is day 20 of us walking the Camino del Norte and just want to bring you through what is like a morning routine of everyone. So you get up, go to the toilet, everything is hurting. Take a few pillies just to get you started. <laughs> you pack and you're ready to go. I think this is. Wait. And you and, yeah. address your blister wrappings. You put more compete on. You wrap them up. So you're ready to walk that day. And that goes every single day. Come, lay, unpack, in the morning pack and hit the road. I speak for all the pilgrims out there. Just checking out. Saying hi, hi to our hotel. <clears throat> Now we're actually going for their breakfast, which was not specified, which was a pleasant surprise last night. Mm. Indeed, it was included. It's a really nice, we're still waiting for orange juices included. I don't know how they didn't specify it, but we got it. We're happy. 
and we're ready to go. We have a really big day ahead. We're going from the center of town in Villa Viciosa all the way to Gijon, which is a whopping 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers. It is a big day, but like I said, we have no choice. All the towns in between are really small, so let's see how it is and wish us luck. And leaving Villa Viciosa, we are once again back in nature. These, these longer walks are so much easier when you start the mornings, like walking through a forest, through some nature, through some nice times, like 30 kilometers doesn't sound that much then. I mean, really? it, it does sound a lot, but it's just like nice when you start a day. With all these noises. You'll see in a couple of hours what's, what's the state, but. We just passed the town of Amandi. We are 3.7 kilometers in, and this is actually one of the most interesting checkpoints on the entire Camino del Norte. We are here at the Sidra el Tra Traviesu, which is actually the point where the Camino del Norte separates from the Camino Primitivo. So if you follow one route, you will find your way to Oviedo if you go that way. And if you're staying on the Norte, you go forward into Gijon. What do you think we should do? And since this channel started with Del Norte, I think it's the best to finish it with Del Norte. So I think we're just gonna continue to Gijon and continue our Del Norte route. Yes. But now we're staying on the same. A lot of people are advocates for cutting into the Primitivo because a lot of people say it's a nice switch up of the terrain and the Primitivo gets really mountainous. So it's maybe a different landscape if you're looking for that, different sort of challenges. However, we really don't get sick of the ocean views and I'd say this is challenging enough for us. So we're gonna stick with the Del Norte. And in fact, speaking of challenges, we have one of the most challenging parts of the day coming up right here. Ah. Somehow. Gotta keep your spirits up somehow. Once again, bring yourself an Ellie and you'll never get bored. <laughs> or be in silence. <laughs> Might get annoyed though. It does get hot out here guys. Clearly. We ain't lying about anything. That part was very pleasant going through the forest. Now we are close to highway I would say. It's pretty much all open field. Not a lot of, not a lot of shade around. We still didn't reach the point where we start climbing up and it's already painful to say so hot out here. But you gotta keep going, right? Right. Okay, eight kilometers in. And now the party starts. We are going up that hill. What's there to do, right? Here we go. Oh boy. I don't know if you can tell. But it is so steep. This has to be the hardest hill we've ever had. And that's saying something. There's a lot of hills on Del Norte. Ooh. Ooh. Oh God. So here's us climbing little mountain, little hill. What can I say? I'm sick. Ellie's fighting blisters. Right now, we haven't stopped for the past eight kilometers 
and we didn't have any exercise before this. We are literally going without stopping, while being sick, while being in pain. So to anyone out there who thinks they can do it, you can. You can do anything you set your mind and set your body to. You can do it all. It goes for everyone out there who is doubting they'll be able to do it. You will. You got it. 30 days ago we were in Italy laying around, drinking wine, working from comfort of our home. We didn't do any exercises for this. Not a long walks, not a long trails. This is actually my second hike in my life. And we are here, 20 days in, being sick, being in so much blister, so much pain, still going at it. So if you're doubting yourself, don't, because you can do it. You can do anything. That's it. He's amazing, isn't he? Goosebumps. He should be an inspirational speaker. <laughs> he sure is motivating me right now. Let's do this. <laughs> I got it. Oh, so sweaty. Well, 500 meters in elevation gain later, and something like an hour of straight steep in inclines later. That was brutal. <laughs> oh, really? I thought it was a that piece was of cake, brutal. huh? Yeah, it really was. I think that was the hardest hill, steepest elevation gain we had our entire Camino del Norte experience so far. And I guess we're at the top now. I have to say, it's a little anticlimactic. It's, we're starting our descent, so I guess this is the top, but there's no like picnic area. There's no sign of like X elevation, X meters Nothing. or, you know, an, an albergue or some benches or even like a viewpoint. It's pretty um, foresty up here. It's pretty foresty, but there's not a lot of shade, you know? So, so to be honest, in my sure opinion, maybe go around, maybe take the highway, take right. a bus if you want. I don't know how ready you are. Yeah. I don't know how ready you are, but this was Brutal. brutal. Literally, we gained like, I don't know, two kilometers, not even two kilometers. A it kilometer was like... in hour and something. And it was so hard. Like, we spent yeah. so much energy on just this hill. And we still have like 18, 17, 18 kilometers left. Do what you want. We are just providing our experience. It is super difficult to climb it. So, if you want, Maybe go around it and continue on the next. True, I'm kind of nervous <sighs> for the rest of the day. We still have, we're probably only 12 kilometers in, if that, a little less. And that expended a ton of energy. We still have 18 to go and my legs feel like jello and I need a break. <laughs> Do what you wish with that information. We're just sharing our... Our current honest... feelings honest experience honest review on everything here so you do what you want to do true we're always going to give you the raw unfiltered authentic honest experience here at ellie and senchi on the camino del norte we're not sugar coaters we are telling you like it is from the field right now and exactly what we're feeling every step of the way all of our experience and right now it's difficult <laughs> We've been walking for probably, oh, look at these pretty flowers. Hi. We've been walking for probably 30, 45 minutes since we reached the top of the mountain and we've just been wanting a break. Just literally like a bench, anywhere that's a viable option to sit on. And there's nothing, again, no water fountains, no tables, no benches, not even like, you know, a quality piece of ground or wall like I'm not above sitting there but it's been like all along like a busy road where you can't really sit there's winding turns and cars are coming fast and now we're Bicycle, kind of so you can't sit on the ground even because they're going pretty fast we are 
on the hunt for a freaking break because we deserve it after that. And, but for now, we're just pushing through until we find something decent. Update, we have found a little patch of grass that will do just fine. And we made it down that annoyingly massive mountain. We're almost in Payon, which would just mark 15 kilometers. And honestly, we're feeling really demoralized, really need a source of encouragement or something because this is a really difficult day. 30 kilometers, but in the first half of the day, we just got annihilated with that elevation gain. And I don't know how we're gonna walk the rest of the way, to be honest. It feels really hard. We're currently approaching the only, 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 only restaurant the entire way today. It's called Casa Pepito. It's right here. We are a little hungry, so it came at just the right time. I do think we'll stop and have a bite. Okay, we just finished our meal at Casa Pepito. And God, do not eat a big meal in the middle of your walk. I, it's impossible to get going right now. It's late in the day, we're full, still have a lot of kilometers to go, and we're really struggling with the motivation and, and the physical challenge of it all. Uh, remember earlier when I said 450 meter elevation gain was the biggest of the day? And the only one of the day? Well, I was sadly very mistaken. There is, in fact, another hill, big hill, that is a 300 meter elevation gain, a little bit more. It looks small because on our guidebook, all of the elevation is relative. So in comparison to the almost 500 meter elevation gain, it looks like, oh, and then we just, there's a little hill and we looked and it's actually 300 meters. So collectively, today we're not just doing 30 kilometers in distance, but almost 900 meters in elevation gain. And again, since she's sick, my feet are killing me. I don't know how we're gonna do this, to be honest. And we are immediately on the incline, walking up to this 300 meter elevation gain right after that big lunge. Woo wee, woo wee mama. How are the vibes, Sench? They're okay. We're still happy to be here, even though it's so hard. We're still happy to be here, but it is hard. It's really hard. Before the camera turned on, I asked him, scale of one to 10, how he's feeling, and he said zero, so. Oh, really? No, he's right. Happy to be here. Struggling, but happy. So happy. And finally, in the distance, we see why this everything has been worth it. Oh, that way we go, that way we go. Update, we just made it to Deva, and in fact here in Deva there's something called Camping de Deva, and from this point you could grab a bus into Gijon if you're really struggling. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, we did look into this option. <laughs> we really but, did. But the, because we're struggling so much but the times don't work and we're only an hour and 15 minutes away from our accommodation in Gijon so we figured we can do an hour you can do an hour of anything right we did 22 kilometers we can do seven more eight more even though it's gonna be through pain we're just gonna push it sometimes we have to and mm -hmm. today has been the proof that 
we can do anything and we can push it to the limits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can do anything together. Anything. Oh, Papa. We are still walking, still following arrows. 35 minutes after and we have our eyes. It's like a cathedral or a university or something, but I believe it's in Gihon. I think it has to be. So we are following our way to there and hopefully, hopefully this day will end soon. We cannot take it any longer. Correct mundo, Santiago. <laughs> 30 painful kilometers later, we made it into Gihon. Our accommodation is right back here, so we're about to check into our Airbnb actually. We're taking a rest day so Senshi can get rid of that sickness for good. I can heal up these feet. And actually, Decathlon has. Decathlon has. Oh, I'm clearly tired. Gihon has a decathlon, so I'm gonna invest in some new shoes too, so hopefully get rid of these blisters for good. But anyways, first impressions of Gihon. It's a really nice city and it's really big. All the amenities are here, all the services, so if you need a rest day, Gihon seems like a good place to do it. There's a beach we haven't seen yet. We'll explore tomorrow, but for right now, we'll, we're gonna check into our accommodation and as always, show you guys what it's like. It was 54 euros. Let's see. First we have Washer and dryer, huge kitchen, salt, and a ton of seasonings, which we love. Coffee. Some coffee, some sugar already prepared. This is the huge room. Oh my god, like with a personal library right here. TV, it's an old library. Netflix, Amazon Prime. We have the bathroom with a tub. Look at that. Bidet. Big ass. Hello. <laughs> oh. Bedroom number one with a beautiful view of one of the most iconic symbols of Gihon. Gihon. Bedroom number two. Right here. And a baby crib if you are traveling with a baby. I don't know, who knows, maybe you are. And just a little correction, this apartment was actually 47 euros per night. And as you can see, it is totally worth it because we are staying here for two nights. We are having a rest day tomorrow. I'm still feeling really sick. I barely made it through the day today. It was so hard, but somehow we managed 30 kilometers and this is our rest now. We're just gonna lay, eat some food, watch some Netflix for tonight. Tomorrow, do some work for you guys, and we'll see you on the road again.